Today I am making this video not only to voice my opinion on what's been happening uh, these last few weeks, but to also encourage all of you uh, watching this to stand up and to fight back and to spread awareness and to spread love to each other, but mostly to not stop talking about what's going on and to encourage you to do whatever you can. Uh, in the description down below, I'm going to leave a bunch of resources, places that you can donate to, different charities, different GoFundMes, uh, as well as a bunch of petitions that you can sign. A lot of these petitions are based in the US. If you yourself are not based in the US, I will also leave um, a bunch of zip codes, uh, United States zip codes in the description down below that you can use. So if you not are not in the US, you can still sign these petitions. So please go down in the description uh, and give back in any way you can, whether it's donating, whether it's signing the petitions, whether uh, it's checking out different GoFundMes, whether it's tweeting about stuff, whether it's actually going out and protesting yourself. Please, please, please don't just sit there. Don't just do nothing. Please help fight back. So why am I making this video? Uh, and why am I making it now? Um, if you follow me on Twitter or on uh, Instagram, um, more Twitter than anything. You've seen in the last week or so that I've been uh, voicing my opinion a lot on the Black Lives Matter movement uh, and about the death of George Floyd. Not only George Floyd, um, but the hundreds of other people who are brutally murdered um, just because of the color of their skin. Just to get this out of the way, I fully and 100% stand behind the Black Lives Matter movement. If you are sitting there and you're saying, well, Ethan, all lives matter. If you're on that side of the field, I am going to leave some links in the description below, some articles to read on why saying all lives matter um, is detrimental to the Black Lives Matter movement. If you support the purpose behind the Black Lives Matter movement, but you are still saying all lives matter, I implore you to go down in the description and read some of these articles and educate yourself on why saying all lives matter, um, why you shouldn't be saying it. But again, why here? Why now? Um, simply um, because a lot of people don't follow me on Twitter and a lot of people don't follow me on Instagram. My largest audience is here on YouTube. And so far, I haven't said anything. I've been retweeting things. I've been making tweets. Um, I've been putting stuff up on, on Instagram, um, and on my stories and stuff like that, but I haven't done anything here. And so I just want to take this time to make sure all of you watching, um, know my thoughts on everything, know where I stand. I want to, again, encourage you all to do your part as well. Um, and I think that as somebody with a platform, as somebody with an audience and a community, um, it is my responsibility to share my thoughts on this, to encourage you all to go out and make a difference in your communities and in this country. I think that I am in an incredibly privileged position where I do have an audience and I do have people that will listen to me and listen to what I have to say. And I think that, and I think that it is my responsibility to encourage all of you to fight back and to inform you on what's going on. First of all, I I want to say that I am very aware of my of my privilege. I am a straight white um successful male in the United States. I inherently out of just for those first three things, straight white male out of the womb, I have more privilege than anybody else who doesn't have those three things. In the world, unfortunately, but especially in this country, straight white men are on top. And it's been like this for forever. And anybody who isn't a straight white man just doesn't get the same opportunities as straight white men do. And it's wrong and it's fucked up and it needs to change. Hello, real quick, Ethan from the future. Just wanted to add on to this part because I didn't say it originally in the recording, but I wanted to quickly say about 
privilege and about white privilege. Um, I've had a lot of people call me out on Twitter by uh, talking about white privilege and saying, oh, but Ethan, I'm white and I still have hard times. Yes, that's that's very true. Just because you're white doesn't mean that you can't have had things happen to you or you, even if you're white, you can still have hard times and you can still have horrible things happen to you. But what white privilege means is that you will you will not have injustice happen to you. You will not be oppressed because of the color of your skin. Just wanted to include this here really quick. Um, back to past me. A lot of people are saying that our system is broken. Um, it's not broken. Um, this is what the system was designed for. It was designed to pre oppress people who weren't a straight white man. It was designed for white dudes to have all of the power. So the system isn't broken. It's working perfectly fine. We don't need to fix the system. We need to create a new system. Racism and bigotry is deeply, deeply rooted into the, into the world, but into the United States specifically. And because of this racism and because of this bigotry, hundreds and thousands of people of color have been killed for no reason whatsoever. George Floyd was killed for no reason other than a racist cop who killed him based on the color of his skin. I was uh, I was watching Dr. Lupo's stream the other day and um, and he said something that was that was very, very true. He was saying how if he went into his living room, unplugged his TV, walked outside and just walked around the neighborhood with a TV under his arm as a white dude, nobody would say anything. Nobody would bat an eye. But if he was a black man walking around the same neighborhood doing the same exact thing, people would immediately call the police. Immediately. No questions asked. And the same thing has been happening with the protests. Uh, I think it was a month or maybe two months ago, uh, a bunch of white dudes with guns in Kentucky showed up to the Capitol building and there was no resistance. There was no... There was no shots that went off. There was no, from my knowledge, no arrests or anything like that. But if it was black people walking up to the Capitol building with guns, I guarantee you they would have been shot at and people would have died and would have been killed. And yes, there are riots happening and there are lootings happening. I wish that riots weren't happening. I wish that looting wasn't happening. I don't want anybody to get hurt. I don't want any damage to be done. I wish that everybody could just peacefully protest. But people have been peacefully protesting for forever. Martin Luther King said, and this is paraphrasing, but rioting is the language of the unheard. And it is absolutely true. These people have been oppressed and ignored and pushed aside for so long. They have not been listened to. And so that is why people are getting angry. That is why these protests and sometimes what turn into riots that's why it's happening it's because they've been ignored for such a fucking long time and so i'll come back to the other side of this in a in a second but my stance on any of the riots and anything happening which come from a genuine and it's not people just showing up to the protest so that they can they can incite violence and they can start looting and take advantage of the situation because i know that that has been happening when the genuine riots out of anger out of anger from being oppressed and being ignored. When these things happen, I am on the side of those people because if this is what it takes for the black community to be heard and for change to start happening, then this is what it takes. Buildings can be rebuilt. Most buildings have insurance. People cannot be resurrected. The innocent black men and women that have been murdered in the street for no reason other than the color of their skin, we cannot bring them back. And if the riots and stuff like that is what it takes to make a change and for black people to stop being murdered in the streets, then this is what it takes. But I do want to say, especially in these last few days, these peaceful protests turned violent many times are not started by the protesters. It started by the police. And here comes my big opinion, which I know that a lot of you won't agree with. And if you don't agree with that, then that's fine. You don't have to sit here 
and listen to this video, but I'm not going to censor myself just to please part of my audience. I think that our government is fucked up, and I think that the police force is fucked up. During so many of these peaceful protests, I've seen so many videos of it, of people literally sitting on the sidewalk. Sit I saw a video of, not they're not even in traffic. I saw a video of people sitting on the sidewalk protesting an entirely peaceful protest, and a cop came up and maced all of them. I've seen so many videos of cops just beating the shit out of people at these protests. Cops tear gassing a crowd of peaceful protesters, shooting rubber bullets at people. Not only shooting rubber bullets at people, but shooting at shooting rubber bullets at people in the fucking face. If you don't know, about rubber bullets, rubber bullets were not designed to be shot directly at people. Rubber bullets were designed to be shot at the ground and then bounce off and hit people. They're not even being used the way that they intended to use them. They are just shooting people directly. And they're shooting people for protesting, which is their right to protest. So many people being beaten and being arrested by these police just for just for protesting and standing up for what they believe in and that's wrong and it's fucked up and I know that I'm not Good with my words for those of you who have watched me for a long time You know that I'm I'm bad at, at speaking my mind and I'm bad at gathering my thoughts and I'm trying to do the best that I can here but I think that The police force is fucked up and I know that there are some good cops but the system itself the the system of law enforcement itself is a system built on racism and targeting people of color and even the good cops aren't doing enough to be better cops there were four police officers at the scene when uh george floyd was killed only one of them had his knee on george floyd's neck the other three police officers stood by and watched while this was happening at no point intervening ever if you are a police officer and you see a fellow cop on your team doing something like this why aren't you calling them out for it why aren't you saying hey you need to back off hey this isn't right why aren't you pulling your your fellow cop off of a person when they're fucking killing them it is a police officer's job to keep the peace and to protect the citizens here it is not their job to fucking kill people they are police officers they are not assassins they are not above the law and it seems like so many fucking cops just think that they're above the law and think they can just do whatever they want and get away with it because that's what they've been doing that's what's been happening because we've just let this shit slide for such a long time and they can get away with this shit i think that what's been happening for the last hundreds of years is vile and it's terrible and it should in a in a perfect world it would never happen but we don't live in a perfect world and so we need to stand up for what we believe in we need to stand up for our fellow human beings and we need to stand up for what is right we can make a change but we can't just slip into this endless cycle like we have been doing for the past since forever of just seeing these innocent black men and women get killed. We talk about it for a few days and then we just go back to normal. We can't do that. We have to keep fighting and we have to keep pushing back until a change is made. And so again, for those of you out there that want to be a part of this change and want to see change happen, please go down below, um, sign any petitions that you can, donate what you can. If there are protests going on, um, in your towns and your cities, I encourage you to be a part of those protests. I encourage you to stand up for what you believe in. I encourage you to go and march with the with the fellow people in your towns and in your cities and march for what is right. Don't just sit and do nothing. And I know that that protesting is a is a big part uh, of this right now, but I know that not everybody is able to protest. I know that we are still in a global pandemic and I encourage everybody to be as safe as they can, um, which is why I'm putting everything in the description because there are other ways that you can help out other than being out and marching. I encourage all of you to not stay silent, whether, whether it's tweeting about stuff, whether it's posting about things, 
but in day-to-day -day life, don't stay, don't stay silent. If you have a friend, if you have a family member, if you have coworkers, anything like that, if anybody says racist things, don't just sit there and do nothing anymore. And I'm guilty of this. I've had so many situations where a family member or a friend has said something where in my mind, I'm like, that's fucked up, but I don't say anything because I, I'm afraid of starting an argument or I'm afraid of upsetting them or whatever. Don't stay silent anymore. Call people out on their bullshit. Change needs to happen, but it's not going to happen by us sitting here. It's not going to happen by us staying silent. It's not going to happen by us just letting things slide anymore. And if there are any other YouTubers or streamers or content creators uh, watching this right now, I encourage you to post about this, to make a, a video about this as well. Just make your voice heard. Let your audience know where you stand. Let your audience know that this is not okay. I, I do think that it's our responsibility as creators, as people with an audience, with a platform, to make our voices heard and, and to let our audience know and to encourage our audience to make a change. Anyway, I am going to end this video here. I'm sorry if I rambled a bit and I'm sorry if my, my thoughts weren't as coherent as I would like them to be. Um, I'm not great at just speaking about serious stuff just off off the top of my head. Um, but I thought this video was necessary. Um, again, please go down in the description below um, and do what you can to try and make a change. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. I love you. Black Lives Matter.